that, then um, I think I'm always okay unless someone really doesn't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> that was what Fakir was like. It's like, fuck, you're almost 90 and you're like still like African drumming. Flying <laughs> 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 with your titties just holding <laughs> <sitting there. laughs> <laughs> Not ready to die either. <laughs> John John from different places. I lived in London for six years, so I, and I met him at um, festivals in France and overlapped at Torture Garden. And I just thought, oh, who's this like queer, sassy, fat ass boy laying it all out in this kind of quasi straight fetish scene? Um, and you know, fell in love with him. Like, what a beauty! And um, always tried to be there to, to consult his ideas, to rub against him. Um, then he started performing with me on a few pieces on the Sebastiani, especially which, unbelievably, in the, it was like going away from London show, the, I can't remember, at, at kind of a big theater, and that morning he went into the hospital, and um, luckily Paul was there, <laughs> <laughs> who has performed with me since the early 90s, so that, I, I didn't know, I, it wasn't an unknown quantity. <laughs> um, and the very next night we did the same performance in Rome, so it was kind of like a... <laughs> um, that was a devastating period, you know, not, not just having to get, get through the work with the things changing, but um, I, I'll, I'll back up to the, the, the most powerful um, John John moment. Um, we, we did separate things and a together thing at... Um, um, uh, Season Lucas Spira curated at the Abode of Chaos in um, in um, Lyon, France, and we we were in this metal bunker, and and did the um, Sebastian and, and like unplanned, I just started went into this like glossolalia mode, and John should just go with anything when it's like weird, <laughs> like exaggerated caretaker thing, but. I actually didn't know where I was. It was like being in a K hole where there was no audience, there was no performance. There was just like, you know, it was like um, suspended from a harness, everything bleeding out. Um, and I, I feel like three times before I've ever gotten what I wanted out of it. <laughs> and that was the first time. It was like super insane. And, and you know, he facilitated that. We like went in together, and, and Russell McEwen, who's a, a drummer from Glasgow, was. Well, drops, come on. <laughs> um, so, you know, these are spectacular, and if we, we still have the agreement, I am going to um, art direct the unfinished performance with the um, peacock feather butt plug. Yes! yes. <laughs> All of yes. I have one person in mind in case me approaching 60 doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Or I could smoke out the room with you special lighting. I'm an illusionist. It's not all about reality. <laughs> 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 um, but there, there's some super special pieces here. And, um, you know, John, well, I think, like, in terms of, like, manufacturing the fantasy of, of having to collaborate with um, craftsmen who, um, you know, cast, you know, make a life mask and then make like a triple face sort of thing like that. The, the, these are avenues with, uh, and ways of extending the body through um, persona that, that are, is an interest that I always um, shared with them. Um, you know, any love camping up heritage, like being in the um, raised in the Basque region, you know, the Frenchy raised Basque, um, these slight cheeky cultural references of that. Um, I've been to a, a few versions of the two of us. Um, one in London that was unbelievable. This really crusty festival where um, somebody was like overdosing in a wheelchair and throwing up while they were performing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still writing, still doing it. Um, the feeding of the pearls. Like, re really amazing about not um, needing this rigid structure to, to make um, this kind of alchemy happen. And, and, you know what, and, and that is just particularly with um, interaction, what I would call a, a type of ritual theater, a ritual performance. Um, and so, so one thing that I envied him was that he would have this total Zen thing, like he'd sit there for 
20 minutes and wait for you to put a pearl in his mouth. Whereas I'm more like, I'm a tap dancing jaggediness. Keep going. So, yeah, this this is really, um, you know, like a, 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 a gift that Paul gave us to not let this just be in boxes somewhere. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard, you know, I was born in 61, like I, there was one point in